Hi, uh, my name is Ken Gibson. I lead a team of software technologists at uh, Intel. And uh, I'm here to propose next generation non-volatile memory as, uh, as a disruptive technology. Um, we recently announced our form of next generation non-volatile memory called 3D Crosspoint. Uh, that is a transistorless memory technology that will be up to um, a thousand times lower latency than the NAND technology you know, used to build SSDs today. Uh, that'll have um, a thousand times uh, greater uh, wear life and endurance, which further helps performance by um, you know, eliminating the need, the need for the continuous wear leveling in the data path for um, NAND storage. And then that's also technology that'll be 10 times denser than um, you know, today's uh, transistor-based uh, DRAM technologies. We will be releasing the first products based on that technology next year in the form of PCIe attached um, SSDs using the NVM Express protocol. And then in a, an unspecified future server architecture, we will be releasing that uh, in a uh, memory uh, accessed uh, DIM form factor. So we think that's pretty disruptive, um, and we think where that disruption leads is to a world where memory is the new storage, or specifically memory is the new you know, hot storage uh, layer for your hot working set and frequently accessed um, hot data. So as long as I've been in the industry, we've used um, you know, block storage devices for memory extension, you know, page swapping devices, um, we see a future where very high capacity, uh, persistent memory is ubiquitous in the compute platform. And so your working set and your hot data, you know, no longer requires a block I.O. To, to access. Now it's right there and it's um, accessible through load store, you know, byte or um, cache, line, cache line access. So you've got your working set, you know, right, right there. So how, do you, how to bring this to market and how to make it usable? So again, we'll be releasing this next year as a fast SSD, and that's a fairly dramatic performance increase. But that, the combination of 3D Crosspoint um, using a PCIe NVM Express uh, access, that's gonna now shift the bottleneck to the software stack in a, in a big way. So really leveraging this technology when we is will, will come when we move it to a, a memory attach and then rework the software architecture, the, the um, operating system, the APIs um, to expose that directly as, as load store persistent memory. And so we're already working in the, in the open source uh, Linux developer community. We've uh, pushed some major changes upstream into the Linux kernel to expose um, this type of memory um, directly to applications. We're also working in uh, open source to create uh, APIs to make it easy for applications to keep the distinction between the hottest of hot memory data in DRAM um, and then the, the higher capacity uh, tier of persistent memory. And so we've, start, we've started that work and um, hopefully that's just the beginning of you know, then moving up to, you know, applications to, to, to take advantage of this technology. Questions? Um, sure, let me start. Um, how does Micron fit into this? I noticed them absent from your uh, presentation. So we, we have a partnership with, uh, with Micron on, uh, on uh, manufacturing this technology. And I really can't say more at this point um, until, until Micron's ready to disclose more. So um, is Intel adding any disruptive value other than putting your name on it or? So, so we've been, uh, we have been very active with Micron in creating this technology. So, you know, high level of value add there. Um, and then uh, of course, we'll be the first to release in our SSDs where, you know, we created the NVM Express standard for that direct PCIe attach. You know, and then we'll be working to integrate the, the DIM-based um, technology into our server platform architecture. Well, it's, 
certainly disruptive, no question, that NVM is going to uh, uh, change the landscape. Uh, you, you didn't uh, comment on the cost. Uh, we have disclosed that it will be um, significantly cheaper on a capacity basis than, than uh, DRAM. Okay. So up to half the cost is the, is the number that we're publicly disclosing. But, you know, I have to say a caveat there at that with, you know, we have a, a lot of discussions around specific product instantiations and pricing. Oh, oh sure. You, you, you just made make. no comment about price, whether it was going to be 10 times as expensive or 10 times cheaper. So that, that, that answers the question. Th thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.